In WISE, you're able to edit sounds after they've been imported using the source editor. In this case, we have a shotgun sound that's already been imported as a standard sound SFX object. You can hear that both the blast and the pump action sounds are part of the same audio file, so we're going to use the source editor to separate these two sounds into separate objects. This will allow for more flexibility in how we can implement the sounds later in the production process. The first step is to copy the shotgun sound SFX object, right click the object, and choose copy. Then select the default work unit within the actor mixer hierarchy, right click, and choose paste. We have two objects, but it's important to understand that we haven't duplicated the audio file that they're both referencing. In fact, if we click each of the objects, we can see that down in the contents editor, but they're both referencing the same audio file. We'll rename the first one Shotgun Pump. Just right click it, choose Rename, and the next object we'll rename Shotgun Blast. We're now ready to use the source editor to edit these sounds so that only the part that we want is heard. We'll start with the shotgun pump. With the shotgun pump object selected, we'll see in the contents editor the WAV file that's being referenced. Double click its icon and the source editor appears showing the waveform of the entire audio file. You can hear the pump sounds happening at the end of the waveform and those are the only parts that we want to hear at this point. Using the Trim Start icon, drag it over to where the first pump sound occurs. The problem is that there's a little bit of the blast sound underneath, and there's not really going to be any way to get rid of this. So we'll move the Start icon further to the right to the beginning of the second pump sound. And that's all we need, because we can use this same sound twice to get both the pump in and pump out. Now that we have the shotgun pump edited the way that we want, let's move to the shotgun blast. Now this time in the source editor, you may notice that the trim start icon is all the way back at the beginning. This is because each object has its own unique trim start and trim end positions. In this case, we only want to hear the blast, so we can pull the trim end icon back to where only the blast part of the sound waveform can be heard. Now the ending sounds a little abrupt, and so we can use the fade out duration icon and drag it to the left to create a nice smooth fade out. Now this might still sound a little abrupt, but we can blend this in using reverberation later in the production process. Now you may have noticed that there's a portion of the waveform that is not being referenced by either object. We have the blast sound here on the left, and then we have the shotgun pump sound on the right, leaving this middle pump sound not being referenced by either object. That's okay. When we generate the sound bank, only the portions of the audio file that are being used will be built into the game, thus optimizing use of memory.